So again, quite a bit has been randomized across this game. And uh, you all are going to be ready. I think we're, I think we're pretty hyped to see this, man. Again, this is a this is an exhibition race. We're about to get started in just a few moments here, and we're going to see. Not to mention, you're going to see what lo what world will be first. Let's find out. This is kind of exciting here. So let's get ready. The racers are about to do their countdown and get this started. Again, we don't know what's going to happen, and this is going to be fun. Mitch Flower Power, Sky Bills and grand pooh bear ex exhibition race here of mario brothers 3 randomizer played in the 80 percent warpless style and here we go and we're starting in world seven so immediately we start out with a pipe maze so think about how you normally would get through world seven who knows and oh my goodness look at this fantastic seed it takes them immediately to the far right area so they're going straight to the the second best thing. Now, as you see, they're playing a World 6 level now. So they have a World 6 level, and this is going to be quite interesting here. So they're going to try to get through this. No problem. We're going to head to where they uh, see a very quick C for level 7 here. And as you can see, oh, Sky Bills takes a death, unfortunately. It's okay. We'll, we'll bounce back. Oh boy, we, we we've got we got depths all over the place here. What's really going on? And hey, remember I was talking about that water level with the the um the bloopers. You see, Mitch, in that level. However, notice notice that we are not in an auto scroller, so we can just swim through this level. Notice we have a little, oh, the little baby cheat gets him. Oh no, the baby cheat takes him. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. So, and we get a, we have randomized power up. So as you can see, there's a star man there as opposed to a typical progressive push up. And oh no, a grand poo bear reaches out and touches the baby. Just wanted to pick the little baby. Scott Bills picks up a Tanuki suit. We'll see how that comes in hand. Now, one thing to note as you're playing randomizer, especially our players are already kind of low on lives down to two, but it will not hurt you one bit in a randomizer to go for five stars on the cards at the end of the level. A lot of times, sometimes you may end with a level that's pretty lengthy and you may have a power up to make it very free. So sometimes it is worth taking a very quick death to get the accurate, the power up you want in order to get to a level much quicker as well as maybe try out an alternative path in case you have you know a multiple path in the way you're going which you'll see in various other maps so again pooh bear on that tanuki swag here and uh sky has her second star now one thing you know as you see mitch here in one of the piranha type stages here this stage is not too randomized uh-oh mitch far power with the with the albeit known Oh my god, I'm about to die in a Mario game pause. Hoping it will change the outcome, but of course it doesn't. So he'll have to take a death there. And as you can see, Mitch Power, you know him. He is a world-renowned runner, of, has held the world record in this game. But in a randomizer setting... Yeah. And of course, hey, did we see the sun there? Be on the aisle for unexpected suns and boss bass ready to eat you whole. So Mitch, as you can see right now, he's on the first airship. He has a slight lead right now. And of course, if you notice here, the airship has no auto scroller. So we can get through these very, very quickly, especially like World 4's airship, which is very slow. We're gonna go find a power up here. It's gonna get a fire flower. Very, very desirable power up in the Mario 3 run for sure. So here we go. Again, they're both going to pick up that star down there. Again, they are playing the same seed here. Same seed. We're going to see how they traverse. Getting World 7 out of the way early is pretty nice, especially when it's a very generous uh, path choice here. So, as you see Mitch on the boom on the final fight, and uh, it takes vanilla three hits. If you missed it earlier, boom, boom, I'm sorry, the Koopa Kid fights, HP varies between one hit and five hits. So anywhere in there, as well as its physics, its movement, and the ability to stun lock you if you're on the ground when it lands. All those scrollers are removed. There's only two levels in the randomizer that still have an auto scroller property. That would be level five nine, that diagonal auto scroller. 
Some of y'all remember seeing those in Nintendo Power about that crazy looping jump there. And oh my goodness, man, Ludwig took a huge leap and just poked him with his wand. Man, oh man. Well, Mitch is in our second world of the game and we're in level three. And as you can see, you can see right there how the pipes have been randomized now. So he's gonna have a he's gonna be able to skip a few levels because of the way the pipes have randomized. That jump, did you see that? Oh boy, took flight, Danny. Sky Bills is done with the first world, i.e. level world seven in this run. Oh boy. So here we go, Mitch running through this fortress. Again, Mitch is in a very comfortable situation here. Um, this is fire. Again, as you can notice, the enemies have been randomized. We've got walking candles here in your way, trying to slow you down a little bit here. Grand Pooper is going to try one more chance at this fight here. And again, we saw earlier three hits. And uh, no problem there. Again, Pooh Bear needs to be a little careful. It's down to just uh, one life here. And of course, if you notice, Mitch had an end card game. Again, end cards can give you random power-ups. And as you can see, oh, look at this path here. As you can see, it takes him behind nine. So Mitch is actually kind of traversing World 3's map backwards because we don't know which... We don't know which one of those has it. And there's only one left right now, so most likely it is going to be the pipe that's behind the second fort, allowing him access to beat that. And woo, Mitch with a very low flight there. So again, Pooh Bear going to start with World 3's map. And as you see, Mitch getting the three stars there. Again, very wise thing to do in a randomizer because you don't know when you may need to take a death or you may want to try another path here. So again, hey, look, there's a hand level. So level three eight is actually the middle hand from world eight, a very short level. Going to give you a power up for clearing it. Going to get a hammer, a hammer. Now, if you missed what I said early, hammers are very important in a randomizer. Hammers allow you to break locks. Hammers can allow you to break locks that normally have to be cleared or opened by clearing a fortress or some stage. So that means when he gets to a level, say World 2, World 2's map, he can just use that hammer, break that lock, and go straight to the other side of the map. But the question is, when do you use your hammer? Do you use it early, or do you save it knowing, hey, I haven't seen World 4, for instance. Maybe I could skip some levels there. So it's going to be very interesting. To give you an idea, for instance, in World 4's map, Big World, per se, if you have a hammer there, you can actually skip three complete stages if you have a hammer. If you don't have it, hmm. You see, you see, you see Pooh trying to swag it out with the door three glitch frame perfect there. I'm not impressed. I should have done that a long time ago. Get good. So uh Frog Mario <laughs> in short use. Nice hops, but man, really, really, really. Um the well in this particular race. The whistles are not in play. This is Warpus. The whistles have been removed from the game. So, but if you do play the randomizer, there is an option to randomize the whistles as to what world they take you. And if you don't exclude them, a whistle could be given any power, any item that you normally would acquire, say for clearing a level or world, it could be a whistle. So, there we go. You know, just because the game is old doesn't mean you know about it. Because I guarantee most people have not seen this randomizer. And that's my job to educate you all. Some of this, you already know. But not everybody is well versed in the randomizer. Especially when it's his first appearance on Speed Gaming. So that's what I'm here for. To help you all out. As you see here, we got a little sun action in 1-2 for Mitch here. Again, suns usually go active about halfway through the levels. But not much of a problem for him. Just going to outrun it. So right now, roughly, we have the lead on, on Mitch's screen here. You know, there's 3-8. But hey, look, 3-8 has no birthday on, over there on Pooh Bear's screen. So Winnie is dead. Sky Bills takes out a fellow sister here, and that's it for her. So again, you see how the, the, the slight difference in having to traverse the level, because again, things are randomized. So even if you're a seasoned veteran with speed run, oh, look at there. We've got a blooper. Oh, this all oh, the babies. The babies are attacking. And oh, and then the mama kills Mitch. He done got got. Oh boy. Back. We try again. 
So he's gonna start up and f oh, frog star. <laughs> a little invincible frog action here. A very rare combination of power ups here. Pooh Bear taking the bottom route in this in this little fort here, getting a little star. So one thing to also note, because power ups are randomized, this does increase the chances of a potential uh, a lot more boom boom kills with a star. And there we go. <laughs> Not quite tough. We haven't we haven't seen one five as of yet. So right now we have them all traversing through the world five map. Again, worlds are in random order here. Um, we got Grand Pooper starting to wrap up World Three's map again. Right now, World Five was the third world. So technically, we have Mitch and Skybills on the third world out of eight in there. So again, for those who don't know, because the world order is randomized, you're not playing one through eight. You're going to play one through seven in some random order, but eight will always be last. So you see a little coin ship action there. And again, coin ships do award a random item. So sometimes it's a quick level, a chance to get a lot of coins. So if you're low on lives, it's something to consider there. And as you can see, Skybill is having double sumo in a hammer. So as people, someone was asking in chat, um, that is one of the things that is randomized. Whenever you have a hammer brother on the map or in a level, they could randomize between hammer, fire, sumo, or boomerang brothers. And the stun lock, Mitch playing it smart, getting a star, but not really having much time to jump. <laughs> getting stun locked there. So hands are part of the random, the regular item pool. So any level, any numerical level, or the sand level or the pyramid level hands are part of the regular level pool all the fortresses are shuffled with each other all the castles are shuffled with each other yeah so again you, you can see you can see these players these are pretty good mario 3 players you're seeing here but in the randomizer setting they have to adapt well, you know what, Kenneth? We don't really have PBs in a randomizer because we're talking about honestly millions of seeds. I mean, you could you could sit there and farm the uh, end card game and get like twelve hammers if it randomly gives you. You could have a, a thirty minute seed, unlikely. Yeah, bonuses are shuffled. So the matching, yeah. So the matching game awards random items. So what you see when you match, say the one up, it may give you a hammer on your inventory and oh boy the combo bounce from mitch there taking a death on the thwomp there yep so when you match cards whatever card you see you don't know what you got until you go to your inventory to see what you've been awarded it could be a music box for that matter yeah i'm not racing because i'm kind of i guess i kind of organized this so you know I'm, I, I got a lot of stuff to do on my side for making sure you know the, the races and the challenge and all that stuff. So I'm better suited on here. No need to participate. <laughs> My play is already pretty heavy here, but let's not worry about what I got to do. Let's worry about these three races here. So, so for those who just joined the stream, this is the Mario 3 randomizer. What has been randomized? The order of the levels, the enemies and the levels, the world's order, the power ups are randomized in blocks. The HP of the Koopa Kids, we've removed airships. Matching card games are randomized. Placement of enemies, bonus enemies like the Sun and Boss Bass can show up at random times. Uh, stun lock ability, Hammer Brothers occurrence and locations, world order from one to seven. Just a handful. Just a handful of things. So speaking of hammers, there is another hammer from the Hammer Brother Society president himself. So again, that's the second one, I believe, still for Mitch. So he can use the hammers to break locks in case you missed me saying that earlier. Hammers can break locks on the world map, allowing you to go paths that you can't normally access early. Yeah, so here we go. Coin ship for Pooh Bear. Again, want to get an item here. Gonna clear these two boomerang brothers here. The question is, what will he get? Watch out for those flying socks. Oh, the last get some. 
son, it gets it gets knee high by the '90s athletic sock over there. Oh, the feels. So of course, whenever you die on a coin ship, it reverts back to a standard Hammer Brother icon on the map. If you notice, Mitch is invincible on the on the Koopa Kid. You cannot kill a Koopa Kid one hit with a star. You basically just hit him as normal. You just can't take damage. You still have to get this required number of HP removed from it. Again, the Koopa Kid's HP randomizes between one and five. So Mitch still has a lead. Let's finish up with his next world here. Again, world eight is always last, but the order of the maps of one through seven is randomized. So we don't know which one we have there. So this particular level right here, you see Grand Poop, and you remember I told you about those hammers? Mitch has a hammer, so he can skip through one. He doesn't have to skip one, two, or the castle. He can go straight to five on World One's map. Again, very, very interesting use on how we take advantage of our hammers because we can skip quite a number of levels at times. If you look at Pooh Bear's screen, you may see an unusual level. This is one of those hidden levels. This is one of the lost levels that is actually in the code of Mario 3, but is not accessible from the vanilla game. The developer of this program, F. Coughlin, Fred, added in those eight additional levels, and that is one of them right there. How about that? See that one hit shot from Roy there over there on Skyville stream? Again, randomized between one and five hits. And Grand Poobin with another loss. In case you missed that earlier on the other screen, this is another one of the hidden lost levels in the game. Gets two in a row. So this will throw off some of our seasoned veterans because you wouldn't see these levels except in a randomizer. And you see this, it looks a very awkward level. We got a little water section here. And a, oh boy, a lot of blooper action here. Oh boy, we have blooper on top of bloop on bloop. Man, but again, not too much of a threat. Just watch out for the bloopers and an occasional Bertha swimming in there, but you're all good. Yeah, so by default, yeah, by default, hammers do not break. They only break rocks, but this is specific to the randomizer. An added bonus to kind of give a more level playing field. Yeah, so here we go. Mitch, head on to our next four. This will be, uh, I believe, fourth. The fourth world completed. Gotta be a little careful here. So especially it get very lagging. <laughs> a star on an airship, hey. Again, it makes for interesting strategies because you end up with these strats that you can now use in a randomizer setting because of having no auto scrollers. Yeah. So we have our first world boss here. And we got one hit. Two hits there. And that's it. Two hit. For Mitch and he is done with that world. Sky Bills right on his tail. Right there. So Pooh is roughly about <coughs> behind right now. Give or take a <laughs> <laughs> just just a smidge. Just a just a just a, a thick smidge behind here. So here we go. We're moving on to the next world. World two is happens to be world. Again, Pooh is a, is, is a little behind. Pooh's about two worlds behind, about world and a half. Right. So as you can see here, we're making a wither slow again. They know where the power ups are. They are randomized here. Um, this for those who missed it, this is an exhibition race. This race is not tied to the tournament. This is just simply to say, hey, there's something new coming to speed gaming. Let's give you a little sample, a little appetizer of what to expect when we begin our actual tournament matches. And that is what this is. This is your exhibition, your your demonstration. Your this is this is like your sampling, your mini helping. And we got some players well versed in Mario from the world record holders who just got ate up by an upside down piranha. Yeah. So you see Skybills on 7-5, uh, again, a, a maze level 
kind of have to know how to get there. And, ooh, we got a fire nipper there. Ooh, tough enemy. They're definitely tough, man. Especially if we don't have a good power up. That's not what you want to see. So again, you see them sometimes going out the way of a typical speedrun because you don't know what enemies will show up at times. So Mitch uh, is laying down his whole Hammer Brother society with no tunnel. Make sure you all, when he streams again, you make sure you body him for not doing the tunnel. I wish I could, Robin. Rob Von. I don't have the abilities quite yet. So right now, in case you're curious right now, Mitch does have a little edge. Over oh boy. We have a very tough fort from World 7 here, 7 Fort 2. Usually this is a star, this time it's going to be a leaf. <laughs> so again, having to use a little bit different strats, normally maybe doing hammer sh Grand Pooh Bear is going to move on to the next world, which happens to be World 1's map. Hopefully he has a hammer. So he can quickly go down to the World 1-5, and he has no hammer! Oh, Poopa doesn't have a hammer. Both Scott and Mitch had a hammer, so that's an example right there. Using your hammer early may be consequential later, and unfortunately, Poopa is going to have to basically do World 1 in a vanilla-like fashion because he has no way to skip straight to Dash 5. So again, very imperative will be, a very important will be the usage of your hammers and your clouds. Remember, clouds can be used to skip levels, but if you die, you go back. And, uh, ooh, no one likes this level. This is good old 7-7. Seven, uh, seven, what is it, 7-7? Seven, seven? Again, this level, the, typically you can pick up a power up here. There is a hammer suit in this level that you see Sky Bills in, and she'll probably go for it. Uh, down she goes. There we go. So, going to pick up hammer swag. Now, by the way, if you notice here in this particular level, notice Pooh Bear had to slow down there. So the game is coded, even though we randomized enemies, a level like this, the pyramid level, would be impassable if you had no way to break the bricks. So there are hard-coded items there to make sure you can actually access it. Now, if you be to do something silly and kill them, you just kind of rip yourself. So because he had a star, he had to wait because he needed to pick it up and kick the shell there. Skybills is making making her way through 5-3, the famous Karibo shoe level, but Karibo's nowhere to be found. We've got fire monsters here. Oh boy. It's raining Goombas, man. It's, it's rough out here, man. And you can see how the enemies can just blow the game down a little bit just because there's a lot of stuff trying to kill you. Again, here's good old one fort two, but you want to play it like you want to know it, but you can't because there's no leaf there. So you're going to have to play a vanilla. We're going to have to just traverse it normally. And uh, he's, going, he's trying to put the clip here. Trying to say to friends, if he clips that, he can actually go all the way to Boom Boom. But he's like, I bummed that. Taking out his frustration on that wall there. Apparently, that wall did nothing to you. So here we go. And uh-oh, uh-oh, it's fire versus hammer. No, oh, rip hammer. Fire bros are not fun. Oh no, oh no. I told you, in case you missed it, whenever you fight a brother on the map, the terrain that you fight in is randomized, the arena. And she unfortunately got the water one and had to go little when she took the hits. So she was basically stuck swimming and got all burnt up, you know. Pooh is roughly about <laughs> levels behind. Again, Pooh is, is not in the same world right now. Pooh's in World 1's map, whereas uh, Mitch and Sky are traversing through World 2's map, which is believed the, uh, the fifth world of this randomizer so far. Now, if you notice Sky Bills, Sky Bills is in yet another one of the hidden levels. I told you there's only two auto scores in the randomizer. This is one of them. This is an interesting multi-directional water auto-scrolling level. Yeah, let that roll off the tip of your tongue there. So you have gold cheap cheats in here, and this ice on top of that. So again, you're gonna you, you so far you've gotten to see three of the eight just in this one randomizer. Again, we've got some we got some piranhas down there. 
And again, a very interesting looking level here. Again, this is one of eight levels that are actually in the original Mario Free Brothers code, but not accessible. And oh my goodness, Pooh Bear getting socked again by the Boomerang Brothers. Oh boy. What I, what I also do for you all, because I know it's going to be a common question, I will personally work on a nice little document so you all can actually know, hey, what's randomized? So I'll drop you a paste bin link and you all can, you know, when you have some bad Chipotle and need some reading material, we can knock that out for you. Yes, exactly, Karate. There are eight total levels that are part of the, quote, lost levels of Mario 3. Yep. So again, Sky has a slight lead here. Again, Poo, uh, Poo, Mitch Flower Power is going to get through this very, the same auto scroll you just saw. A little cartwheel action over there on Sky screen, swagging it out. So uh, again, this is this is not part of the tournament. This is kind of like your your exhibition race to show you all what the tournament will feature. Again, this will be featured here on Speed Gaming. Over 50 people have enrolled and registered for that tournament, which will be kind of kicking off tomorrow um people are beginning to schedule their races and whatnot so if you want some more of this mario 3 action of randomizer style you're gonna have it right here on speed gaming between one two three four a lot of good stuff here <laughs> you totally will watch my video thank you can monetize my youtube now watch out full-time streamer status so here we go by the way the seeds are generated at random prior to the they have no idea what's going to be given. They, they literally just get the seeds again. Literally millions and millions of options. And oh boy, this blooper is trying to take Mitch out. Not wanting him to finish. <laughs> no sock action like Pooh Bear has been struggling with this run. And as you can see, Sky is in the ice world. And of course, the first thing you want to do is try the pipes. <clears throat> so when it comes to randomizer, because the pipes on the level maps have been randomized, Anytime you have an open pipe, try it. It might be able to take you forward in the level, but unfortunately, you notice it placed her behind the lock or in a place where she cannot progress forward, so she has to take it kind of vanilla-like. Got a lot of star men here. Helpful in this section. Of course, stars only last, you know, just about seven seconds in Mario 3. Well, about four or five with, with lag. And oh boy, look at this enemy. We've got Bertha here. Takes a hit there. Yeah, we thought about the trackers. We didn't want to put too much work on the trackers, especially when one thing that's one thing that's also known when we talk about trackers is like the items. The problem is when you play an in card game, you don't know what you've gotten. So from a tracker standpoint for items, it'd be a little difficult because it's kind of like a Zelda randomizer until they pause and check out the map. You don't know where stuff is. And you very have a very limited glance at that. So that's why it's going to be a good work for us people to let you know who's where. But we might have a little world tracker. That might be a good idea. I thought about it a few days ago. Especially since worlds are not sequential up until 8. So again, Sky Bill is not going for Clip having that frog suit. Going to take the kind of the intended route per se. Pooh Bear taking down. There again, Mitch is just on Sky's tails here. Depending on what item... Mitch starts as though we might be able to catch up a little bit here. So Pooh Bear trying to catch up, going through seven farms maze here. Again, um, worlds are randomized as well as what stages you play. All of the numerical levels plus the pyramid and quicksand level are shuffled with each other. All of the fortresses are shuffled with each other, including any world eight level that unlocks a lock. And then all of the castles are all shuffled with each other and everything is out of them. Yeah. So again, when you see it, even though you may be on the map for six, the lowest you play could be from any level. Yeah. Oh, and Mitch getting thrown down out the low by the last windmill. Yeah, pipes on the overall maps are shuffled. Speaking of shuffle, as you can see, Skybills is doing that dreaded fast airship that most of us usually P-Wing over, but there is no auto-scroller. And P-Wing is actually slower now. Safer, but slower. So, the batons. And no, we don't shuffle A and B. 
DPS. They're actually running using left and select. And oh my goodness, the Grim Reaper showing up double time on mission stream here. Sky, meanwhile, getting through the not so fast airship and burnt to a crisp as Pooh Bear. Oh boy, I, I'm loving it. A random fire nipper burns him to death. And back we go on that one. Man, oh man, oh man. <laughs> Yo, who's enjoying this? I'm having I'm having I'm I'm having a ball here. This is fantastic to see these guys and gals struggle on something that they know so well. You know, I'm mean, gonna not struggle, but you know, having having some unexpected results and undesirable results. The Koopa Kid levels, the Koopa levels, are you talking about the, the Koopa Kids? The castle stages, they are randomized, as well as the Koopa Kids HP, anywhere between one and five. Their physics, sometimes they have a super jump, sometimes they, they, they big star, you know, big, big body. So they can uh, stun lock you when they land, if you're still staying on the ground. And all that good stuff. Well, thank you very much, Leah. I'm glad you enjoyed it, but don't bump me, yo. Shouts out to Mitch Sky and Pooh Bear for providing you all this entertainment on this exhibition match of Mario 3 Randomizer Tournament. This is just the beginning here. <laughs> so they're running 80% warpless. Again, traversing through all the worlds. And, uh, oh, Sky, I think Sky was in 7 1. Could have gone for the clip. But um, might have missed it and maybe not want to press up, but going to play a level vanilla. Up. So Mitch is in a wall jump level. And oh, look at there. First try. First try. You think this dude has played this game before? You, you think he actually knows something about this game? He's like, yeah, uh huh. See, he's just trying to deter you from remembering a fact about the fact that he didn't do tunnel. I'm going to repoint that out. He missed tunnel. Okay, mm -hmm, that's right. Take your butt back. See, you messed up, man. Mm -hmm. Think you somebody special. All right, he gets the clip again. That's seven one, a known clip for many people that play Mario three. As long as you are big and don't have a frog suit, or um, you can clip right through that. And hey, there's our boss bass. Boss bass ready to numb you up. So boss bass in this can eat you whole, one hit and you're dead, regardless of your status. And oh, kill all oh, you murderer. Murder on Pooh Bear stream. But guess what? He or she, whatever it is, comes back. One thing to also note about boss bass is that boss basses can sometimes vertically go up and down. So they can actually fly sometimes and not actually be only on ground level. Oh, it's Scabio Kobe's right through the two block gap. <laughs> Trolled by the one up block and it has to go back. <laughs> that, just, that just tickled me good right there to see that bonk. <laughs> so Scabby, um, uh, Pooh Bear going to that multi-directional auto scroller, one of the hidden levels. <laughs> that bonk is hilarious. That is clip worthy. Oh boy. So again, <laughs> that just took me too good. So again, we get a vanilla star here. So Mitch was able to boom boom kill here with the star man. <laughs> so again, Sky still having um, a little edge here. Again, uh, well, actually, I'm going to take that back actually. Mitch is actually hit by about literally one stage. And again, here's the only, uh, in fact, hey, the only two auto scrollers in the game on the randomizer are shown right now at the same time. How about that? Five, nine on Mitch's stream and one of the hidden loss levels on Pooh Bear's stream. Those are the only two auto scrollers that are part of the randomizer in the tournament settings. Now, if you actually play the randomizer yourself, which I'll provide a link to it or someone will drop it in chat for you, you can leave the auto scrollers in if you like, but they have specific tournament settings that we're using which is to remove the bulk of all the auto scrollers. Again, Sky just a stage behind right now. Again, they always finish up a World 8's map, and in case you missed it, I know I'm being redundant, but man, this is hype. A lot of new people are like, yo, Big John, what is this? I'm trying to tell you. So remember, the pipes on the world maps are randomized. So when we do get to World 8, 
and if we don't get a vanilla, people may have to gamble on which route to take. Sometimes you may have to do World 8's map, you know, the screens that have, say, 8-1 and 8-2. You may have to play those stages backwards or try a path out. So just on how the pipes are randomized could swing this race back and forth between lead or, be, or trailing behind. You know, I'm glad you asked that question. So Pooh Bear trying to catch up here, you know, trying to represent for Pooh Nation over here. Sky Patrol right on the on the tails of the Hammer Brothers Society. Yeah, we're just gonna speak on the stream names here. Testify hallelujah of your little awkward grand grand Pooh Bear going up the hill there just because that randomized. Yeah, so the only so five nine was not removed as from glitches um on how that level behaves. So we don't want to break the game any more than we already did, right? Is this okay to do the little, we got the little white, the little um, white enemies there. Again, you see interesting color parts. You see enemies that are normally white. You see, you see the golden Koopas from time to time. Again, a little, little, little nipper there. Thought it was gonna be a fire nipper. He was just a regular one, just sitting there trying to eat him up. No biggie. Yes, we have to randomize the RNG. Otherwise, it would be vanilla. And what fun is that? So Mitch, on to the castle of this world here. Yeah, didn't know what's happening, but don't worry. You're gonna see more of these. We're gonna see a lot more of these. As we do have the tournament beginning, um, the first day of official tournament play will be tomorrow. So again, you know, amongst all the other things going on on speed gaming, you'll be able to check out some Mario 3 randomizer races as well. So that should be fun. That should be fun. Can I blame Twitch for that dungeon? I blame Twitch. Twitch, provide me better micage. Uh oh. How about that combination player right there on Blue Bear stream? So right now, Mitch is in the lead just by by one stage actually. Mitch is just finishing up the World Six uh, Castle. Sky is just beginning it. Key set. Key Santee is the double, that is all. Pooh Bear getting a little bodied here in World 2. World um, World 6 map. By the way, Mitch, I believe, is on the 7th world. And it's uh, World 7 happens to be World 4's map. You know? Man, see, I'm telling you. Many people thought that, oh, the people who run the game is going to have such an advantage. Mmm. -hmm. They have died more time in this one race than probably the last two weeks of them streaming this game. So again, right now, right now we do have Mitch about one single stage ahead of Sky. Pooh Bear is representing for Team Caboose right now. If you haven't already, make sure you follow all three of these runners. I mean, we have some quality players here. You know, Mitch doing a lot of Mario 3 action, grinding a lot of Mario 3 ROM hacks. We've got Sky. Sky, my buddy forever. She runs Mario 3. She plays Castlevania. She runs Mario World. She does a lot of Zelda randomizers, Zelda 1 randos. So if you like that stuff, give her a follow. And, well, everybody generally knows Pooh Bear. I mean, Pooh Bear, Kaizo, Mario, Mario himself everybody knows Pooh Bear, you know, him has no legs. So if you haven't already, drop a follow to all three of them knuckleheads. You know, show them some love for providing you all this entertainment. Pooh Bear is entertaining us with trying to get this wall jump pixel here. Again, interesting to note, this particular pixel jump on 6-9, this is actually level 6-9 there. Um, the physics are just a little bit different when you play as Little Mario versus someone that is large. And again, you have to know your pixels when they jump and actually jump. Again, frame perfect. Pixel perfect to get the pixel and frame perfect to get the jump. If you notice Scorpio and Mitch on the same exact level here now, and again, this is that level you have to fly in order to get out of here. So suddenly we have them tied. Mitch is gonna go for the clip to get to the end of the level here, and Mitch has caught up just a little bit for going for the clip. Again, something you typically don't see, because in a normal run, you would just P-wing over this level. 
So right now they're just about mm, 20, about 10 seconds behind each other. Now. And hey, look, suddenly World 8 Airship. So the level you see both Mitch and Scott doing, you see them basically doing the last level in vanilla before you would fight Bowser. Uh, the, the following Super Tank level. Pooh Bear showing never give up, ever let your dreams be dreams. And Pooh Bear is like, you know what, man? Hey, bump this dog, bump this man. So Pooh Bear, after spending a hundred Nintendo seconds, says, you know what, bruh? I'm just gonna swim through this mess. Well, he doesn't have any legs anyway, so he couldn't jump. He just had to swim instead, right? I mean, who needs legs to swim? Just like use your arms and, you know, wacky, waving, flavorable, and tableable man, whatever that commercial says. <laughs> so, <laughs> so here we go. Scott Bill's in the lead right now by about, mm, about three, four seconds here. Very close there. So as they both begin to fall, Pooh Bear's probably, I mean, I, you know what? I bet what Pooh is thinking probably may not be family. But yeah, here we go. Oh, Frab just day. Kalo Kale. Thank you, Zashule. You know, I need to go watch more, I don't know, some kind of TV show where they show that. Have you seen my staples? So now they're both on the final world, World 8. Again, World 8 will always be the last world. However, things still apply. The stages are still randomized. Sky is going to take the, the sand of shame. Mitch is not going to give into temptation. He's going to play it, and hopefully things don't go bad here. They should meet up very quickly here. So, as you see, even though Sky took the sand of shame, they're dead even right now. They're literally dead even. <laughs> oh no! And Mitch takes damage. Oh the sa oh <laughs> the baby. The baby cheat cheat takes out Mitch. This is how I told you, even if you are a world record holder in this game, because enemies are randomized, you don't know what will appear. And he got basically the mini Bertha that just kind of swims back and forth and gets body. Sky taking a bigger lead now. Oh, that was too good. Oh, that was too good, man. Oh, this is so good, man. It hurts. And oh, another damage. And a oh, go in case who needs a rewind button when Mitch can just show it to you firsthand one more time. <laughs> Mitch, again, you cannot skip these levels. Those tank levels are required to play. Even it doesn't, you don't know what stage you're going to play for choosing it, but you cannot cloud over them. So, oh boy. Now, as you see Sky traversing, trying to figure out how to get out of here. Remember, pipes are randomized, so you don't know what will take you where. And she'll have to go back. There's a lock there. She has no hammers. So she's going to have to backtrack and try another path. This is why this is so good. There are two pipes here. And she has to try them all. Pooh Bear trying to get this invincible kill. And oh no. We're on the other side of the airship. At least on the map anyway. So as you can see, both of them are trying to figure out how do I get to World 8. Sky goes right. And that doesn't work. That's the other side of the lock. And back we go. This is why this is so good. You see, this is the flip-flop of what happened in the first level. So she's going to have to take the other pipe. Where do we go? And, oh no, so after all of that we have learned, she still has to go do this ship. That ship has to be done. Of course, the ship happens to be uh, another fortress. There's the only other auto scroll, the good old 6-9, as we saw earlier. I'm sorry, 5-9. So this is why it comes in play, your luck, your gambling, what path you choose, because sometimes you may have to play a level just to see if that is the correct path, and there's no guarantee on a randomizer. So a randomizer can take, we've had runs that have been sub 40 from us playing it casually, or if you get really, really bad locations, it could take an hour, and then some. So, you know, anywhere in the high 40s, you know, 40 to 55 is decent, it's a rando. Yeah, I'm sorry. Hammer, 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 hammer. There you go. So Sky trying to figure out how to get the World 8. Going to try this pipe and see where it takes us to. And uh, so again, that is not the right way either. So that means the only path left now is to actually play 8-1 and 8-2 backwards. 
So, as I mentioned earlier, sometimes you're forced to play the levels backwards, and Sky has no choice. She has exhausted every other pipe option in this level. And while by doing that, this is another one of the lost levels here. This is another level that is in the Mario 3 code that you see on Sky screen in the center as part of the code, but not normally accessible. Again, this level actually has continuous Starman in there, but she's like, ain't nobody got time for that. Don't forget Puyo. Don't forget my boy Poo. Represent for Poo Nation. So Sky only has one more stage and she'll finally be on that final map that has the browser and she can go for the clip here. Again, she wants this clip now. This is seriously good time save. But every time she misses it, it's one second closer. Oh, she just has to play it. And oh no, Big Bertha gets a meal. 100% free meal. So she's going to P-Wing over it, which is a smart move. Again, this is 7-6 that typically in an 80% Warpus run, you would just P-Wing over it. So she has a P-Wing in stock, goes straight and is done with the level. Man, nom nom. Oh, this is so good. I love these appearances of Boss Bass in here. So Sky Bills is going to be two stages away from Bowser now. Let's see what level we get here. And we, oh, we have a nice lengthy, the water water fortress so this is uh world three fort two i'm gonna swim through this not too long of a level yeah you don't want to see boss bass in this level pooh bear is going to take care of iggy i'm uh, not iggy uh lemmy Lim lemmy okay he's going to take care of the boss okay the one with the bouncy balls that's not iggy iggy's the big guy that jumps lemmy lenny steve todd marie somebody you know what i'm talking about so right now, Sky is in the lead. She is about to go to Bowser. P Mitch is just one stage behind. And Pooh Bear is, oh, and Mitch becomes victim of the same dining, dining experience here. Nom, nom, nom. And just like Sky does, Mitch goes to that P-Wing and says, you know what, bump this, man. Man, it's like live DBR here. So Sky Bills, again, one thing to note in this randomizer is save a hammer suit or a, a, or maybe a fire for the very quick kill on Bowser. So, so again, Pooh Bear is doing the end card game, got a match, but he won't know what he got until he checks his inventory. What you awarded does not match what the cards say. You could get a, you could get anything that could be an inventory, except the whistles, since whistles are removed from the randomizer. So Sky is about to take care of Bowser here. And again, just a quick kill here and Bowser is taught. So Sky Bills will be the winner. The Queen reigns supreme. Bodies the, the Mario 3. Bodies a previous world record holder and current world record holder in various categories. And Bodies the master of Kaizo Mario. One of the many, I guess you would say. She shows you all right now why she is a beast at to be recognized in Mario 3. If you have to face her, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. So congrats to Sky Bills winning the race time of 47 minutes and 17 seconds as an official SRL time. That is some good stuff right there. And hopefully you can see that, man. Um, the Pooh Nation is losing hope on their leader. So we're gonna while while they are getting through here again, Mitch is going for clips here. Mitch is on Bowser. We're gonna see if we can get get her in here. Right quick while you all enjoy Mitch showing you how to do clips and Pooh Bear never giving up. Man, this 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 was this was so good. Let me see if I can get her in here. Oh boy, Mitch is going to finish up on second place. Just a few seconds here. All right, it's going to get here. Oh. There they go. <laughs> Pooh is... Pooh is... <laughs> oh my goodness, if you all could see the comments in Discord right now. 
Someone's not too happy about those cheap, cheap deaths in 8 2. <laughs> um, hold on a second. <laughs> Oh my goodness, yeah. He's not going forfeit. If he does, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna not only take off he's already missing a layer, he's gonna take off his own too. Alright, so hold on one second. We're gonna get Sky here. The, the the queen here. And uh let's see if we can get her on here. Oh boy. Pooh will never Pooh will never give up. Let's see if we can get Sky in here. Old Sky. <laughs> oh man, I wish you I wish you all could see. How am I gonna break kneecaps when he ain't got no legs? I guess it depends where the leg got cut off at. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. So we're gonna work on getting him in here. Meanwhile, we can get <laughs> pulled through this level here. Again, this is this is an exhibition. This is actually not one of the official matches, but this is actually one of the um, exhibition to kind of show you what to expect when this tournament gets underway tomorrow. Uh, so we're gonna get them. Let's see if we can get them set up here. This is too good here. Again, that sun, not fun there. Let's make sure we give them ability to. There we go. There we go. There we go. <laughs> we got. We we got. We gotta keep the. We got we got someone that's a we we, we gotta we gotta try to keep it a, a, a little a little more pure. <laughs> Super Mark! Oh my goodness! Please, let's make sure that we get them all in here. So again, Pooh uh, Pooh is enjoying this random as I'm pretty sure. Hopefully, you all are enjoying this so much. That's the goal here. And we're trying to see if we can get them in here. I'm sure here. There we go. Sky Bills, how are you doing? But I, I just mentioned, as you can see, this is why she is deemed the queen of SME3 RNG. You should fear her with every bone and inkling in your body. How are you doing? How are you doing? You just bodied these guys as usual. She's like, this ain't nothing. I always buy them. I actually, I had a really rough start, and then there was one part where I died to the Fire Brother, and then I couldn't uh, get my 7-1 clip proper. Those were two really rough spots, and I thought right there and then that Mitch and I would be even. If not, he would be ahead of me. Yeah, those, um, yeah. Mitch was having a little issue. <laughs> With uh, eight two with that cheap cheap at the end, you just missed it because you had a you had a tail, but Mitch took two consecutive deaths on that same last cheap cheap, and uh, I don't think he likes those. I didn't either. The worst enemy placement for me by far was in uh, vanilla seven five. I got stuck doing, and there were the um, I think they're called like plants or nippers or something like that. But they spew fire, and I yes. had two of those under there. And if I didn't have a second power up, there was no way I was getting past that. Oh yes, that's the joy of showing how this randomizer can. Ah, oh, again, it's make you so happily mad. All in just a few short moments. So, how does it feel to, to beat Mitch and, and Pooh Bear again? I still can't quite believe it, honestly. Uh, I thought one of them would have made me pay for the mistakes that I did make. And um, for anyone who was wondering, uh, when I came across 7-6, um, uh, I didn't feel like clipping there, because clipping there takes me a while sometimes on that stage. So I purposely got eaten by the bass and... Uh, use the p-wing in my inventory there so i wasn't sure if that was also gonna make mitch snipe me also oh no because mitch did the exact same thing he took the death in p-wing 
so you all literally did the exact same thing but uh <laughs> oh my goodness yep yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the the fish. I tell you what though, I think this is a really good race, man. It was it was interesting to see. Oh man, you got a really nice, generous first world, being able to quickly get to the right side of level seven's map. A very, as you know, a very troublesome level. We don't know how to get around it. But but world eight wasn't the best. You had to traverse every pipe until you could find the right one there. World 7 uh, actually becomes easy. I know we had a very generous pipe placement, as you were saying this time, but if you save a hammer, you actually have access to two pipes that can take you to the end of the stage versus one. Oh, yeah. So that is something to always consider in this particular tournament with this set of flags. Definitely, because you can go straight to that right beside World 9, and man, with a hammer, a cloud, a music box, psh. You could literally have World 7 to be a zero stage level, except for the castle. You got some good items there. Hey, what's up? Hey, Mitch. Yo, congrats right, Mitch. on that win, man. That was dope. Thank you. And uh, I saw you weren't too far behind me, so congrats to you as well. Uh, there were some uh, pretty bad enemy placements in that stage. Yeah, I saw a clip when we were both in, uh, I think it was 8-2. We were neck and neck, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, Mitch, I, I hear you a big fan of like randomly spawning um, uh, cheap cheeps here. That's oh, fantastic. I love it. <laughs> I mean, it is randomizer, so I, I have to have I have to uh, accept it to some degree. You know, that is yeah. the randomizer. Pooh Bear apparently RNG just caused him to die, but it's okay. Yeah, I'm I'm hoping I'm hoping the fish gets him too. Everybody just want to see him die in 8 2 as well. Wow, yeah. Mitch. Wow. Who hit him, who hit him <laughs> some bad luck? He was down to low lives very early. Um, ah, ouch. We had some deaths here. But yeah, man, those end of level enemies, you know, whenever you have a stage that would typically have an enemy around the card, it could randomize to a, a cheat cheat or boss bass. I think most of us have gotten eaten by boss bass running towards that card and gulp. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, that was in. That was an intense race. Yeah, man. That oh, this is so good, man. I'm I'm so happy that I hope people have enjoyed this. You're gonna see these two and and Pooh and uh, and 50 other people who are gonna be doing these races over the next few weeks on speed gaming. So that's right. Um, you never know what's gonna happen, man. It's gonna be good stuff here. Um, Mitch, are you are you, are you ready to get your revenge? Because I know. I am. I, I'm. I'm even surprised too. I was getting wall jumps first try and wall clips here and there, and this guy still skunked me. <laughs> well, how many hammers did you get, Mitch? Because I actually three. had the app. Oh, you got three of them. I think I might have gotten four. Ooh, yeah. No, I didn't. I only fought one hammer brother in World uh, Six. I think it was. I hammered in World One right away. I hammered in World Four. And I hammered in World Five. Yeah, that's that is for someone to ask in chat. That's one of the reasons that Pooh got a little bit behind because both Sky and Mitch had a hammer to quickly get through World One's map quickly, but Pooh Bear didn't have an extra. He didn't have any more hammers, so he had to play one one, one two, and the fort, Dang. which is already three additional levels behind there. And he's Again, he's a mess, mess in a cage right now. He's all like. All three hands, getting that 12.5, reverse. Oh no, he still got one. He got past it, he got past it. Yeah, <laughs> said bow to the queen. Hold on, if anybody wants to challenge queen, let me re let me rechange the um, the grouping and I'll just put you in her group and then you all can try your best to take her out if you want to. I wouldn't recommend it though. Yeah, I'm not facing her in my first round. At least I get to, you know, <laughs> I, I have a chance to go to the next round. It's nice. Yeah. Chance. Oh I boy. I have a feeling if it wasn't for that fish, Mitch, we would have been neck and neck going into Bowser's Castle. Yeah. <laughs> I took I took Tass route in Bowser's Castle that I probably shouldn't have. <laughs> I they're trying to impress. Good at it. Yeah. Yeah, that 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 poor Oh, I felt sorry. Oh, for first Mitch, try. Man. Oh my goodness. Mitch Mitch just got by about that that poor cheap cheap by this fuck kinda bad. <laughs> Two times too, it got me. I know, man. When you went DB off me, I'm like, man. <laughs> I didn't see anything. <laughs> oh boy. No. So Pooh Bear is just one more stage. Yeah, he's gonna be happy right here. Two. Yeah. Poor guy. 
But it, that's the way it randomizer goes, man. Sometimes you get nice seeds. Sometimes you have a, again, missing a hammer that someone else uses. And, you know, sometimes you have to gamble on whether a path will work out. Sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes it does. Yeah. And unfortunately, you know, not having a hammer, that's why sometimes it doesn't hurt to do the end card game. You don't never know what you're going to get. You know? Can you get a hammer from the end card game? Yes. You can, but oh my goodness, all the maps are randomized, so it's not like you can flip open your old Nintendo power and look up all the patterns. That's yeah, so... It is random. Well, yeah, I, I assume it's really random, especially if there's going to be hammers in there. I mean, the best I've had is eight hammers. I had eight hammers. I was like, yo, every time I saw an card game, let's just see what I can do here. Like, eight hammers and five clouds. I was set. I didn't get a single cloud that run. Did you, Sky? Um, yeah, I actually thought I saw two or three of them. I stop at all the Hammer Brothers I feel like I need to, with the exception of, unfortunately, since World 4 was last, I put all the Hammer Brothers to sleep because I'm like, the only thing that I could possibly get out of these is another hammer or a cloud, but cloud isn't always relevant in World 8. Yeah, exactly. Because every time you enter World 8, the first thing you're thinking is, I don't want to do level 1 and 2 or the hands. So you try and take, like, every path that avoids that. Very yep. true. It's good stuff, and uh, Pooh Bear is going to, he's going to be finishing here with a time of 60 minutes and 20, I don't want to say hours, it sounds too bad. So, 60 minutes and like 20-ish seconds. So, 